Hello fans of Marvel Heroes and fans of Psylocke, my name is Wilfred Wong and welcome to my channel where you see guides and videos on this free-to-play game called Marvel Heroes. Um, last video was on Psylocke melee build, so I know a lot of you have been asking me if I could do a ranged build and uh, here I am, this is a ranged guide. Now, um, for those who have watched the previous video on melee, uh, you may agree with me that Psylocke could be quite exciting to play as a melee because it's very dynamic but um, also it could be a lot of risk as well because she's kind of like a fragile and uh, at, at that kind of like up close and personal uh, combat kind of range it could be a little bit unnerving I understand that and also I mean you know her single target rotation as a melee could be quite taxing as well so I understand there's a there's a need real need to sort of like consider the alternative and uh, for, for many for, for a long time, I've been thinking that uh, a range build would not be very much like Psylocke, uh, but it's also quite good. I've, I've actually gone into the range build, I study a little bit more, practice a little bit more, and I kind of, it can't grow on me because uh, sometimes it doesn't have to be that taxing and uh, it could kind of take a back seat. But I will show it to you later on on the number crunching part if you are interested to stay on is that uh, the range build only realize about 80% of potential of what the melee can do. So you just have to bear that in mind with the time to kill. If you are struggling with the melee time to kill, then the range one will be even further back. Uh, all right? So that is uh, something transparent. I'm not going to repeat uh, stuff that I've already said in my last video. So if you are looking for a general introduction to Psylocke, what her short falls are as of today, uh, whether she is your cup of tea or not, uh, you know, kind of hero that is suitable for you right now or not, uh, on the gear, on the Omega system, on the hero synergy, um, those will be on the melee video. Do check that out. There's time code at that video as well. You can just jump to the part whereby you, you may want to just check out the gear, check out the, um, you know, the Omega and so on. Uh, this video, I would like to show you uh, through the gameplay on how her power uh, I like for range build and I'd like to also show you the build itself uh, later on the number crunching alright so now um, just before I head on to the actual gameplay just I uh, would like to also share with you that um, uh, for range build is even more fragile than melee so whatever you struggle with melee uh, it could sort of like um, you know translate to what you're struggling in, in, in range as well because range you lose 8% uh, melee um, damage reduction card proc so just have to bear that in mind she has a very 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 low uh, damage reduction. Uh, she may be kind of a little bit better in dodge and deflect, but you can't. She doesn't handle the the kind of like um, um, you know spike well. All right. So with that said, the next bit of the video to come. All right. Now this is uh, Psylocke ranged in danger room. I'm picking an uh, epic one, and uh, this one actually is quite challenging. The uh, you can't heal, uh, but then you know, and also the uh, outgoing damage is uh, reduced by twenty five percent down is 50% shorter so I don't know man I'm gonna give it a try it's uh, it's somehow harder than the one I had um, sort of like uh, yesterday with the melee I think the, but I had a lot of fun doing melee one so okay so this is the okay I actually did another one just now with the cosmic one and I managed to win uh, but the, the challenge was that uh, the challenge was that uh, it, it uh, is too slow because I, uh, I I cannot heal and after that um, yeah, and, and the spirit cost was higher as well, so it become a very painful to watch, uh, even for myself. So I don't know. I hope this one work out better. Uh, although this is just an, uh, it's not even, you know, uh, not even a, uh, well, not even a cosmic. But um, you know, I, I hope in a way it, it's sort of like uh, better to watch. At least there's an entertainment value to it. And uh, I'm also hoping that uh, it, I will get some sort of like. Um, some sort of like, uh, what should I say, uh, the uh, the random boss to, to showcase to you how she plays like and the uh, range is uh, actually, mm, uh, you can play a lot safer as well for range alright, so you have uh, that pull the kit to uh, to sort of tank the whole thing for you alright, uh, just that it is uh, slower because uh, you know, as you can imagine the um, the damage output is reduced by a bit, but then your cooldown is faster as well. So I caught like more signature, more everything. So yeah, I mean you know uh, this range build has two. So if you if you uh, sort of compare this range build versus the the one that uh, you've seen uh, for the melee one, I mean you know you probably agree with me that it is a bit like uh, more relaxing to to watch or to to even play uh, on this one. Okay, so. 
Okay, so I, 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 uh, I, I'm anticipating that I will need to somehow, so like after destroying the asset, I will need to uh, fill, fill up the bar. So I'm just sort of like uh, anticipating what is to come. Uh, yeah, so I, I'm sort of clearing all these things off as well. I, I don't know, because the, the objective doesn't really tell you uh, whether, whether, you know, after that you will need to uh, you know, continue playing until the bar is full. So I'm just thinking that it may be the case. All right. So oh, come on. All right. So this is just an epic one. Uh, nonetheless, should be quite fun to watch as well. I'm hoping it's kind of hard to find a scenario that is, uh, uh, you know, good to sort of like watch as well, not just on the. Um, yeah, but uh, I mean, bear in mind that the cooldown seems very fast. Uh, but uh, it's because of the uh, modification from the scenario itself. Uh, later on, I'll take you to probably a uh, midtime Manhattan or or somewhere that uh, you could um, sort of get a sense of how the true uh, cooldown is like. So, all right. So, da -da 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 -da. all right, man. And I'm still using the uh, vulnerability core to, yeah. So I have to sort of like get the rest of the uh, uh, the bar to the full in order to win this uh, this one here. So, all right, just uh, mashing up the uh, the cooldown. And uh, yeah, as much as possible, try to avoid damage as well because uh, her the range. Uh, silo is actually uh, you know pretty weak. Uh, it's, I think it's uh, because I I gear quite hard for defense. But if you don't, then you probably can only get like uh, 20, 30 thirty percent damage reduction, and uh, usually it wouldn't fly in this kind of environment. Um, you know, that's my tick to it. All right, so I'm just getting the rest of it, and uh, it's actually quite slow as well, uh, same as the other scenario. Mm. So I I'm trying to try get a sense of what scenario to throw away from now on because some of them are just too. To, uh, to taking too long, I think. All right. So yeah, I mean, uh, I've got five life. Uh, it's only scenario one, and I've already lost about uh, probably half soon. So I don't know. I probably would. Um, I'm hoping to be able to to still win uh, the bonus chest because there's a bonus merit is seventy seventy something worth uh, working hard for. And you would think that epic one is uh, faster, huh? Hmm, depends on affixes, I guess. So I'm I'm working my way through, and as you can see, it's just a lot of like uh, cooldown mashing on, on that uh, regard. All right, I'm picking up this uh, as well along the way. All right. Okay. So um, all right, mashing cooldown, mashing cooldown. I'm getting there. Uh, Man, I, I really hope that this sort of drop the experience off as well for those who are leveling for uh, for the, for their Omega system. At least they got something out from from doing all this scenario. I don't know how much XP are you guys getting from the danger room. It doesn't look like a lot. Eliminate the general. The general is somewhere over there. All right. So yeah, I mean, one thing great about Silo is just uh, very nice to just please through all these things. Alright, just have to be careful a little bit. Uh, it's getting a bit dicey. Eh? Uh, although I have a lot of illusion here, um, it may help, it may not. So there's a lot of cooldown I could use. Signature, so well. Yeah. I, love, I have a lot of stun as well. I think the um, this one, the uh, Psycho Bars, has a stun component to it. If I, I'm trying to eliminate the, the small mobs as well. Um, okay. Right. Oh, so okay, that's fine. I've got another. So now it's a start fresh as well. It's like a full heal if you think about it that way. Okay, man, that pool, that pool, that pool. All right. Yeah. So I mean, obviously, is uh, when when you play the silo, the uh, you know you feel that it's very different from the um, from the uh, you know range one is very different from the from the melee. Uh, if you are very used to the melee kind of like uh, you know running around and you know moving around, 
then uh, range is very much just uh, you know a lot of time you just have to stay put where you are and just like you know the usual um, all right so that is good all right there's another one mini boss marvelous all right man yeah but uh, I mean that's kind of relaxing no complication And sometimes I, I, you know, this game is still a bit, uh, you know, sometimes when I press a button, it doesn't really fire off. Um, I, I don't know how they're going to fix that. But uh, so what do I need to do? I think I have to what complete the rest of it. And uh, yeah, all right. Okay, man. Yeah, a lot of uh, cooldown mashing, but uh, that's good. No spirit cost. That's like a dream come true for many heroes. No spirit cost. See, I keep clicking the middle one, the construct, but it never... The, the psionic ball I never quite sometimes maybe I can't hold it. okay so this is a mini boss mini boss is great because it uh, should reward uh, better oh come on man really? oh man this is really annoying this range build because the uh, this this guy here the bow doesn't really kind of fire off when I click it sometimes so I don't know what happened hmm Right, so just like um, you know, danger room. Sometimes it's just a lot of patience when you play danger room. But uh, since I've been like uh, recording a lot of video on the uh, non, you know, on, on the rest of the game, well, I thought you know, with the chain, uh, with the uh, danger room, I might do something different for you guys rather than you know the same old thing, same old love. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, man. Let's go. Where's my uh, Deadpool kid? And the, uh, so there are two, right? Random boss appear. I haven't seen any random boss yet. Maybe I haven't really progressed that far. Maybe I should actively look for, seek out for random boss, huh? Uh, some excitement there. Oh, those mini boss are random boss? I don't know, man. But I'm, my eyes on my 70 bonus, uh, whatever I'm working on right now. Man, it's uh, kind of, um, hmm. They have to make it more exciting, I think. Alright, man. Some, some of them are just taking a bit too long, I think. Uh, or maybe a range build is a bit different in terms of the DPS. I'm so used to range, uh, so, 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 so used to the melee one. Uh, I don't know, maybe that matters well. Alright, so I'm just clearing off stuff. Alright, man. Uh, there are more mobs here. Alright, more mobs is good. Alright. So done. Oh, cool, man. This is like a non spawn, non stop spawn. I like it. I don't need to go anywhere. So, yeah. Okay, so that is done. Uh, still a bit more to go. Is, are there any? Okay. Alright, man. Please let it be the one. That's it. Do I still need to do more? I guess so. <laughs> Have I not proven my worth somehow? Okay, man, turret. Okay. Done. Alright, so that's good. I'm not gonna finish the job. There's no reward in doing that. Alright. Oh, man, last bit. I hope. So that is um, Magneto. Should be okay. Ready for the interrupt. <laughs> I still there is interrupt. Alright, man, ultimate. Alright, so yeah, I'm just like, you know, face tanking. And, uh, okay. You have to go and uh, CC breaker. That was a CC breaker out of the way. Wow. Try not to take any uh, unnecessary kind of like uh, damage. Um, hmm. I reckon I have more health than Magneto right now. See, the bow doesn't refire really off. This really annoying, this whole bug here. Alright. Alright man, just like uh, keep the... Uh, man, I, I don't understand man, this this thing like, you know, it's really frustrating right now, the range build. But uh, I mean, you know, if you manage to get work to... Yeah, so that's fine, uh, I've got it sorted. That is the danger room with my hard-earned um, 70 merit. Let's see, uh, I think Epic is... Uh, Cosmic is 90, the, the uh, bonus, so... Alright. So where is my second chest? Over there? I don't know man. Is that like a 
two chests for surviving. I don't know how this one goes, man. Anyway, uh, yeah, so that is uh, Psy Psylog range build in Danger Room. And I'll probably take you to some other, you know, better place to showcase to you how she, uh, she you know, her power is like. Alright, Psylocke range in Cosmic Doom Terminal and I'm starting ahead in the... Um, uh, yeah, I just come here right now and I'm going to do a little bit of... Uh, probably I'll get one bounty to give you a feel about how she plays like. Uh, it's not really about the, uh, the so-called uh, damage uh, you know, output because like I said to you, the range is quite inferior when it comes to damage itself. So I'm just going to... Uh, sort of like I uh, just get one bounty and if I see a big group of uh, mob then I'll just do it otherwise I wouldn't and the um, yeah and as uh, you've seen before the uh, the psionic bow is still very much bucked out that sometimes just not reliable when it comes to psionic bow ah green rimper my favorite I really hope that uh, the medallion drop man uh, it's one of my favorite medallion in the game see it doesn't click man so frustrating uh, when it comes to the uh, the power, the range power, huh? Okay, no cosmic. Uh, hmm, okay, that's not ideal. Uh, all right, let's continue. How many more to go uh, to get the? Oh right, I've got a legendary as well. Ha, huh, may as well. Hmm? So uh, one stone, three birds. I've got uh, the target here. And I've got the uh, legendary quest, and I've got the um, yeah. What else do I have? No, that's all. All right. So, okay, guard and so on. So I need to take some guard. Oh, I got bounty. Sorry, that's what I meant. <laughs> okay, guards. All right. So guards. All right. So if you manage to get the uh, bow working, I think it's quite good. I think because uh, if you hold a mouse button, it probably wouldn't work for you. I don't know. Let me try the, something new. To get by. Alright. Okay. I mean, it's, uh, range is quite relaxing, I must say, uh, in this kind of scenario. I just come from the, um, you know, I, I, was, I was still testing the Iron Fist uh, yesterday uh, on the test center. I didn't know whether he will be released or not, but uh, I mean, you know, for those who uh, who is following the uh, following my video on the pre-order? Don't bother. Uh, so I mean, I, I, yeah, I, he has improved uh, somewhat, but the design is still very much the same. Um, so yeah. So but uh, anyway, that is Iron Fist. So I'm still working towards the uh, what the guards. So I need to take down the guard. All right. So come on. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I don't know whether you guys are doing the uh, terminal these days. I uh, it's kind of interesting to know that you know. Wow, maybe one day terminal is really oscillate um, as the dated kind of like game game feature. Imagine that day come right because uh, nowadays you know it's a cosmic patrol danger room uh, to get those like uh, currency or loot. So uh, when do you so when do you do the uh, terminal right? So I don't know. Maybe it's still farm stuff, but nowadays there are more options everywhere. Uh, for the gear so you don't really have to like you know farm a certain one all the time okay there's a lot of like guards here so i um yeah uh yeah that's right so there's two cooldown power and just manage that and uh, that's about it um then you have the assault and the vortex vortex is to group the mob together and the assault is to is to uh, do a damage over time uh, that will follow the mob, of course, I think. Alright, so I, uh, I, right now I'm done. And uh, what I need to do is actually uh, try to see uh, whether I get my chest unlocked or not. 250, yeah? So then another, I think, I, I think I'm pretty fine. So I'm going to just get hood. Now it's only one of them. And I'm going to have my revenge. For those who have watched my uh, video on melee, uh, you probably melee silo, you probably know what I'm talking about. Alright man, good. <laughs> the difference between the danger room and the terminal is vast, I would say. It's vast. So uh, 250 maybe do I need to work hard for this? I don't know man, maybe I don't need to. Hmm. I may as well. Just to be safe, I get the get the chest. 
think uh, I think I have the first chest already I'm just aiming for the second one right now Alright, so very nice uh, Very relaxing Very, very relaxing Okay, so it's my um, My good old friend, Doom Alright, man One, two, three, four And uh, just keep hitting And apply the, uh, the damage over time when it's uh, required, I'll talk about rotation later but uh, because the first two power has a 10 second cooldown this next two is 7 second cooldown so you know you don't need to reply like uh, all the time and uh, I mean this is yeah that's about it really see after you've seen the danger room everything's become so easy huh if I not open this guy, you thought I'm doing red terminal right now. Let me just do a ultimate. Um, now why do I need to do ultimate? Uh, never mind. Come on, man. All right, I knew he's gonna jump. Come on, the bow, the psionic bow is just uh, totally annoying. Uh, Fire off, man. Okay, that's it. Um, okay, great. Um, okay, CC Breaker. Do it. Uh, practice. Always practice uh, using Doom as a CC Breaker practice. That's it, man. Yeah, so you can see the DPS is not that, um, you know, impressive. Um, uh, a bit unfortunate. Uh, she can teleport around as well, so that's neat and nice. Ah, the bow. The bow. Alright, so that's it. Uh, recovered and got my legendary quest and thank you for staying on. Alright, so uh, I think now I'll just go back to the training room and talk a little bit more about the uh, the build and so on, alright? Oh yeah, no, why don't, why don't I just... Uh, no, no, before I do that, uh, you know, who knows, I may get... Uh, Hand of Doom here, Hand of Doom here, and you'd like to share my joy here and my, you know, sort of like an epic face palm moment like Oh yes, there it is, there it is <laughs> Wishful thinking, that's why we still play this game mm. No So the final part of the video is to talk about the build and the, uh, from the build perspective there are many um, creativity when it comes to which power to pick because for range, there aren't that many options out there. Uh, the, the one that I would recommend, of course, you know, is to max out the uh, Vortex and the Assault. Now, Vortex is a very, very minimal DPS, uh, but <laughs> you got too many pawns anyway, so where do you put it? Put it in the Vortex. So you max out Vortex, max out the uh, Sionic Assault. With the gear, those two become 10 second cooldown, uh, around 10 seconds. So why is it important? I'll tell you in just a bit. Um, so, you know, one is weakened, one is uh, vulnerability. All right, and the uh, then the Sionic Bow is the one that I keep having a bug. Uh, I couldn't fire it off. Um, you know, it, it has a passive that uh, sort of like uh, uh, spirit cost reduction for range power. As well as when you use it, it's kind of buff the range power, so it's nice. And it's seven seven second cooldown. And the uh, then after that, you have the uh, Sionic Blast, uh, which is the one that uh, also have a seven second cooldown. Uh, and, and if the enemy is both vulnerable and weakened, it's, it's a higher damage. Same as the what, main spender, main spender crossbow construct does the same thing too. So it's kind of worthwhile to make sure that the enemies are being weakened and debuffed. Uh, so, but how do you sort of like uh, count all this timing itself? Of course, you know, you could use 7 seconds and then you clip the you know, um, you know, uh, assault and the vortex because, um, you know, uh, sometimes you don't want to uh, be too bogged down in the whole rotation and you can just do it but like I mentioned in another video uh, the previous video on melee is that um, you know the, 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 the more you clip a certain like uh, you know effect or, uh, or damage over time layer you actually add the animation penalty to your main spender so uh, in as much as possible you try not to clip it too much so if you're really doing a single target uh, kind of um, in a rotation onto the boss. So what I'll do, what I recommend you to do is that uh, you know you apply you apply this for ten seconds and then you apply the Sionic bow and the uh, Psycho blast. Uh, but uh, you know you use this as timer. So in the middle of the second rotation of these two, then you reapply again. And after that, uh, you know, then on the third cycle, then you apply again. So you don't you you apply this this two uh, twice 
you know, while this one runs three times. So you know, uh, that's one way to to get the maximum out of it without clipping so much and just observe this cooldown three or four seconds. You can reapply again. Uh, so yeah, I mean that's one part of it. Another part of it is that uh, you know, from the passive perspective, I I recommend this one. Uh, as for range, this is not really that important. But you know, if you have too many points where to put, um, you know, this one you probably need to. Uh, look into uh, crowd control breaker even if you don't play melee i would strongly recommend you to have this one on as well because you know it's good to have um have uh, have been able to stealth on demand as well as being able to spawn a decoy as you dash around so i'll use a dash to sort of like you know do it and uh, that's it and this is the passive that you know i would strongly recommend as well because with the decoy uh, less likely the target uh, the enemy is going to target you so now i'm going to put back all the gears and i hope you have watched the gear part of the video uh, on the melee build so i'm not going to talk too much about it and the uh, I mean for the rotation wise, just uh, you know, if if you are into single target, you are not into clipping things. So you know, you you do you do like a one, two, three, four. Nah, see, three doesn't work. So after that, uh, reapply the three and four again. All right. So three, four. All right. So in the middle of it, then you reapply reapply the uh, assault and vortex, and that's about it. All right. So it's uh, three and four. All right. Then uh, before it, it, all of them expire, you reapply the assault and the uh, vortex and three and four. Now three doesn't work again. So yeah, so it, it's a lot more straightforward uh, when it comes to rotation versus the um, the the the, uh, the melee build. Melee is a lot a lot more complex. But uh, I think in closing, in closing, I like to sort of like you know just wrap up this video to to sort of like uh, talk just a little bit more on the ranged kind of like silo. In closing, because I've 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 mainly played the melee, I I can, I can feel the difference in kill time. Uh, twenty percent down is a lot. Um, you know, from the number perspective, twenty percent down is a lot. And I, I can show you the number later. You know, uh, in in the last part of the video. Uh, so I I don't really feel excited about the range as in as much, but you know, I understand. Uh, you if you find that the uh, you know the shortfall from the melee, uh, mainly the uh, being too fragile or just too complex or too much movement, you know, range could be for you. Um, so I yeah I mean that's all it is. Uh, let me know how you really feel about the range build. Do you really like this kind of like setup? And you know how, what. Uh, what do you like about range build versus the melee? I'm keen to hear that. All right. So uh, last part of the video is on the number. Okay. So on to the number. As so I always do is to take away all the uh, gear, Omega system, and so on and so forth. So it do, I just want to look at Psylock uh, at the uh, hero design perspective, and uh, I have to make some assumption as well uh, on on her. You know, uh, hundred percent above the base damage. Um, you know, I I'm just taking a very conservative two hundred fifty percent. I think I can do much better than two. Well, you know, kind of like three hundred or three hundred fifty above the base. But um, you know, I don't want to make it too like over overstate in a sense. So, but what it really transpired to is the you know those power that give additional fifty percent, additional you know hundred percent. Uh, those are not like you know about doubling the uh the, the 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 base power. They just add. The, the percentage on to whatever percentage you have. So, I uh, to make a certain assumption. Uh, if you look at the uh, you know size strike, I mean, um, uh, this is the main spanner for the melee build. So I, I touch on the both sides as well. Uh, since some of you, I haven't posted this part of the video for the melee because it was getting a little bit too long. Uh, but the melee has a lot of good stuff like the uh, the decoy itself uh, can do the uh, you know couple of stuff that add quite a lot of like uh, damage to. To the to the to the original power, like you know, assassinate versus the uh, with three decoy, you can see like it's almost like you know, uh, it's not double, but at least it's very very attractive to maintain a decoy kind of gameplay. But even assassinate itself, uh, that's being able to launch uh, from range into a melee range is already pretty fantastic. You're talking about thirteen thousand uh, DPS, so that is wonderful. Uh, if you look at tsunami strike as well, I mean, you know, these are these are these are main spender if you wish to. Uh, then you know you have the. Uh, uh, Kirishute uh, Gomen, uh, which is the one that I chose as the main spender. And uh, then the, you know, the load, falling load is also very high. I mean, if you look at the DPS wise for three decoy, I mean, even single de no, no decoy is already 11,000. But you know, granted, uh, Silo doesn't really have a lot of layers. Uh, if you compare Silo with some of the newer heroes, she, she doesn't really have that many layers. She has to put a lot somewhere else so uh so yeah i mean uh, i think i think back to the ranged field um you know if if you look at uh sionic vortex as um um 
as a spender this one is sorry uh, spender all right so uh, yeah sometimes i do make mistakes as well all right so in a cost big uh cost bow construct is probably one that uh you you'll be using as a means but it's the only range one that you could use uh, the other one is basic less uh the basic basic and the range is double i mean you know double the uh, basic so i would never never ever use a basic power at all in this game uh unless the hero is designed to be so like x23 wolverine or luke cage hmm? Uh, then the Sionic Assault is the one that I said is kind of low DPS. Then you know Vortex is even lower. It's one point three. I mean this is the number that you laugh at. You know if you if you theory, theory craft like a blade and you know the newer heroes. I mean what is six point? What is one k? Um, <laughs> DPS as a layer that is pathetic really for twenty ranks. Hmm. So anyway, uh, then Sionic Bow is the one that keep bugging. Uh, it doesn't really do a lot of damage. Uh, also, so yeah, I mean you know all the range layer is not that fantastic. So if you break down between range and melee, uh, you are doing only eighty percent of the melee potential. So I hope this video is useful. And as always, uh, you know check out the rest of my guides and videos in the description below. There's a link back to my website. I always update my link, update my video as well. Uh, so see you. Enjoy snowing in Midtown Manhattan.